Hey, morning, guys. Morning. Morning. It's coffee time. Yeah, coffee time. So, how is everyone? How is everyone? Morning, morning. You know what, just to... Just to have a coffee together. Let's see what everyone is doing. Uh, buona dimineața. Coffee time. Morning from Serbia. Nice weather. Not really nice. It's not really nice. Tea time. Yeah, tea is great. Tea is great. Happy New Year, thank you. Good morning. What coffee you drink? You know what? If if if, if you if you, if you challenge me to speak about this, this is insane. I mean, if it's about the coffee, so I've been all my life stupid. But you know how it's, you're all your life stupid. And uh, on some point, you learn about that things, and you just you just realize you was all your life stupid. You know what I mean? And that's what happened with me. So basically, uh, me and Diana, I was trying. You say I said, you know what? Let's try to cut some things down, like um, that. That we've been drinking uh, Tassimo. You know Tassimo. You buy the things, and very simple. And we said, you know, are quite expensive. And uh, I said, you know what, let's buy an espresso machine and use uh, beans, coffee beans. To buy an espresso machine is quite easy. You look on the reviews, you see what it's doing. It's simple to buy a good machine. But then you start studying about coffee. And everything is got in change. And you realize all your life you drank uh, commercial coffee. And there you have specialty coffee which uh, you found out actually the coffee has a, a rank and any coffee over 80 points um, it's, it's a specialty coffee it's a good coffee and then you start buying different coffee and you start tasting the coffee and you realize all your life you you know it's you you, you drunk nothing basically you know that uh, burning uh, taste of the coffee, the commercial coffee. So what I'm drinking now, it's a medium roast um, uh, Sumatra coffee from Indo in Indonesia. Morning, morning. Happy Saturday. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's nice to start the day having a coffee with someone. So, about what we are speaking today. Christian, expensive. <coughs> it's a little bit more expensive, you know, I agree with that, but the taste is it's something else.
once you drink proper coffee, you can't go back. You know, you are right. Actually, you are right. I mean, I have all the coffee from each continent, specialty coffee, over 80, 80 points, and are so many flavors to choose. It's unbelievable. And all my life, I drank like, like commercial coffee. Like, yeah. But is that is that is that thing you you start studying, and you realize you didn't even know actually you can buy a different coffee. All you bought all your life was like you know coffee like from supermarket from Amazon, nothing else. Morning, morning. <clears throat> So about what we are speaking, guys, uh, tomorrow, uh, today. Any particular subject on electronics, which goes perfect with the coffee in the morning? Hello from Croatia. Is that eBay chap? Chap, what do you mean chap? We used to sell. Okay, the guy. Yeah, the guy is on Discord. You just go on the Discord. Go on Discord and you just text him. It's that simple. With your video, I was able to repair my laptop. That's great. That's the that's the idea of the, of the channel. How likely is the inverter transformer to get burned if the input MOSFET are gone? You mean like an inverter, like a old L, uh, LCD screen inverter. It depends on the circuit. If there is no, no fuse and uh, the input MOSFETs are not reacting, uh, it will get burned. The transformer, it will get burned. In a laptop case, you have 19 volts. So that 19 volts, the, the load will be the transformer itself if the MOSFET gets shorted. Uh, hi, sorry, it's normal not to, to be possible to pause the stream. It's it's a live stream, so uh, I don't think, or I don't know. <laughs> I never try. It is possible to explain about unseal the BQ chip. Alex, um, you can't do it yourself. You need a tool like the... The battery analyzer, that the battery analyzer, the NLBA. There is a special code which it will allow you to access that chip, and that program has that code. Greetings from Serbia. Good morning, Slovenia. Car inverter, 150 watts. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, probably not. I mean, I know car inverters, and there is a lot of current going on. But you have the transformer has the, the wire is like is very big, like few millimeters. You have probably like one to three millimeters wire. Most likely, the wires it will get burned. The 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 the, the tracks it will explode. Or the fuse it will burn instead of the transformer. ATG can you turn on subtitles? Uh, 
I I'm not. Do, uh, I seen on the on the past people saying on the video. Sorry, and put the subtitles on this video. I'm not doing it. This is something uh, which YouTube is doing it for any, any video, every video. So if the video doesn't have subtitle, it's up to YouTube. I cannot add. That's the thing. Good morning. Good morning from Spain, Albania, Morocco. What is the standard voltage for a laptop LCD? Do you mean the backlight? The backlight, I believe, is around 4,000 volts for the backlight for a LCD screen. What is the best way to get into fixing electronics like you do? Mr. Uh, Tim Tom. I said it many times, is you don't learn about the repairs. First, you have to learn the, the basic of the electronics. Yeah, So you learn the basics, and you are good to go. But first, you have to learn the basic. That means you have to play with the electronics and understand how the ohm law is uh, working and uh, the electronic components. Uh, Adam, which board, HP, Lenovo, and Dell is possible to fix? Like any, you know, it's not related with the, with the brand name. You can fix anything if you can fix it. Before the backlight inverter is 19, yes. Even on the LCD or LED screens, uh, yeah, you have 19 before the inverter. Yeah, Mr. Tim Tom, yeah. Basically, yeah, you need the basics. So if you know the basics, you know how the current is related with the voltage and the resistance. Then you have the ability to understand what's going on. Alex, I believe you are able to read that BQ chip. You are you are you are able to read some data, but not actually to access. Uh, and uh, change things from that chip. You can do it that program, but otherwise, I don't know how. Because around the world, there are only three devices which are doing this. It is possible to fix a board with a brick BIOS? Yes, you can. Australia, oh, 8 p.m. Okay, maybe maybe, maybe the, the, you can have a tea. 8 p.m. I believe it's too late for a coffee. What brand is your uh, brand is your electric screwdriver? Is the Miniware one? You know the Miniware. Uh, you, you can check on uh, on um, on Google Miniware. Yeah, Miniware. You have this. Uh, If the fuse input circuit controller uh, vision, the inv inverter is a very simple piece of uh, you know technology. You have the power part with the MOSFETs, then you have the transformer. Then you have the driver of the MOSFETs. Now the driver also want to know about the, the output voltage, so that means you'll have a feedback uh, line. 
if he's not doing anything, probably I'll, I will, I will, uh, I will get concentrated on the driver. And then on a car inverter, you need a wire with 12 volts, which came from the right radio. Yes, when you start the radio, actually the inverter start working. If it's our audio amplifier, I don't know what uh, what kind of inverter is there. Bosnia Herzegovina. Good morning. I got a free phase inverter for the electric motor for Christmas. That's a nice present for Christmas. Peter, do you do a video on serial number injection into BIOS file? To be honest, I, I don't know nothing about this. I, I never heard about this. The best, is, the best is to ask the guy which is programming the IO chips or the ECS chips from our Discord. You ask him and uh, he can tell you more, but I never heard about something like that. APM is not a problem from Melbourne. Hi from Nepal. I have replaced all MOSFETs and drivers <coughs> inside. The inverter goes on the protection circuit. Uh, vision is, is, you know, it's hard to diagnose the things uh, over the internet. I can't really advise you. You have to, you have to check everything what is there. But like how I said, I will get focus on the on the driver. Um, Christos, hello from Greece. Is the MOSFET? Uh, if you can replace a MOSFET, if it's another one different, yes. You can replace a MOSFET, and I've done it many times on my videos. <clears throat> a MOSFET is a switch, yeah, and has some characteristics like, uh, you know. First, you use channel P and channel N. And uh, after that, there are a few things like the switching time, like the gate voltage. But usually they are matching one with the other. The only problem comes when you have a pair of MOSFET. So you have a pair of MOSFET, it's better to replace the, to replace the board MOSFETs, not only one. Omar, why you don't use a mobile phone thermal camera? Because I don't have one. What do you mean? I have only only one thermal camera here. I had before. You you mean the the one from before? I said uh, I said no, I said that few times. I have to send it back because it was from Amazon. Because, um, you know, I, I was not fine doing, uh, you know, with Android. I tried to swap the phone from Apple to Android and it was hard for me. Uh, Eddie, you know, there are 
questions which I can't answer. I mean, you have a micro Bluetooth module board. You are not getting 3.3, but there is 5 volts on the board. It is the MOSFET. I have no idea. I mean, if you post a picture, yeah, we can have a look, but just uh, from what you're saying, it's hard. I don't even understand why a MOSFET can do on a Bluetooth board. Also, move, move the coffee away from keyboard. I displayed my coffee, I think, like one week ago, all over my desk. In Europe, we should make it mandatory for companies to share their schematics on the internet so the people can repair their devices. Do you think they will do it? Like how I said, you know, they have to be forced. And I am not optimistic regarding this, you know, why they will do it. If it's broken, just buy another one. Sorry, best laptop manufacturer in your opinion. I can't see anything. I mean, before, before like years ago, you can make a difference based on the quality of the, of the laptop. But on those days, I can't see any difference. I mean, all brands, they have crap laptops and better laptops are about all the same. Long, long time no see a video fixed phones. Uh, I don't have phones here and at work on the other shop uh, there is a guy which is doing only phones. So probably that's why. But I will try. I'll try to post video with phones. Paras, laptop block diagram please send me. Go on our Discord. So our community is on Discord. You go on the Discord and uh, you write there on the laptop chat and you ask if someone has a schematic to give you for your uh, laptop model number. And don't forget to say please, yeah? So the community is quite strong on the Discord. So if anyone needs help, they will get help, uh, and uh, if someone want, someone else wants help, it's good for you to give him help. That's how the Discord works. Justin, no one will share schematics in intellectual pro property. How can be intellectual property if I'm buying the device? You know what? When, when I was like a young boy, they were selling like TVs and radios with the schematics. So you have the book with the schematics. That's how it was on that time, like 30 years ago. So they were selling devices with the schematic. You have the, the manual, the user manual, and you have the schematic on the end. That's how it was supposed to be. How, that's how it was on that time. So, if I'm buying something, I want the schematic for that uh, device. Sakfus, <clears throat> uh, I want the same thermal camera like you. Can you explain why did you return it? I told you. I have the Samsung phone, and I said, okay, I'll not use Apple. I put my SIM card on the Samsung phone, and I tried to use it. And two weeks later, I realized I cannot really use, I'm not used to use an Android phone, so I have to go back to iPhone. And if I go back to iPhone, I cannot use that camera, which was USB-C camera. So I sent it back. Camera was very fine. Was better compared with what I have this. So better with this one. It was better because I could focus closely. Yeah? With this one, I cannot. So I'm, 
I want to open this and change the focus because I cannot uh, focus close. So I have to use the camera like that. I need like probably like 30 centimeters to focus. So actually it's worse compared with the mobile version. Repair studio. Hello. Hello. One Raz. Anyone have the Discord URL? The Discord, it's on every video. So on my channel, probably are around 700 videos. And on every video, like every video, on the description, on the description of the video, you have the Discord uh, link. On any video, you click. Doesn't matter which one. On the description of the video, you have the Discord link there. <clears throat> Jasco, I want to start repairing. What electronics is beginner friendly to learn how? I said that earlier, just start learning basics. It's important. It's it's I said that many times. Don't do it. Don't start learn um, I want to learn fixing iPhones, or I want to start learning laptops. That's not the way to go. Start learning the, the, the electronic basics. When you know electronics, you can fix anything. I mean, I've seen that, and I, even on the shop I work, I've seen, like, Tipo. Tipo, I mean, what I'm fixing? I'm fixing uh, iPhone. So the people are learning all, like, common faults about that iPhone, but actually that's not electronics. You know what I mean? It's soldering skill and, but it's not really electronics. Christos, how to find what capacity have a bad capacitor and any other comp component if I don't have schematic and board view? Uh, Christos, how many times you see me replacing a capacitor? The first step is to understand the schematic, to understand what that capacitor is doing. Maybe it's not a capacitor, maybe it's something else. You have to understand what he's doing. And to understand what he's doing, and I said I will do a video about this, on, on, uh, soon I will upload a video, I will take out all the capacitors from our laptop, yeah? And the laptop will still work fine, you'll see. All the capacitors from the main power rail. You have to understand the components which are mandatory and uh, which are not. But you see, you get stuck on a simple thing. You get stuck. And I've seen people stuck um, on the Discord also. Okay, what capacity has that capacitor? Because they want to replace it with exactly the same capacity. And because they don't know the capacity, they, uh, they are stuck there on that point. <laughs> Masio 10. How do you feel about three hours of uh, mechanics cost 300, uh, 300 euros in labor and three hours of the electronics cost 100 and 150 euros? Do you think electronic is less profitable than the other jobs? It's down to everyone. Yeah, so if you come to where I work on that shop, you will not get three hours for 300 euros. You, you will get like 300 for a for an hour. Yeah, with, with 300, you can buy me a one hour. But it's down to everyone. It is down to the knowledge. You will see, you will see their computer shops. They charge for a laptop repair, let's say 40, 50 pounds. And then you'll see computer shop, they will charge for a laptop 150, 200. So, you know, depends of the skill and depends of the many other things. On the other hand, a car is expensive. A laptop, you can buy for like 150 pounds, I can buy a new laptop. So, yeah, it's tricky.
Adam, hello from Australia. Sam, where is your store? I don't have a store. I'm working on a store. Um, it's near London. It's like one mile from uh, from London. It's not my store. Uh, Eddie, what's good beginner hot air station? You know what? On the beginning, I have a very bad uh, feeling about this one, about the uh, Aten uh, SD A62. I worked for a while with this one. It's not better compared with what I had before. You remember? Uh, I said it. It's not better. So, but it's okay. It will do the job. It will do the job. I mean, this looks decent for the money I paid for. I mean, I paid like 160, so it's it's quite decent for this money. Chisma, good morning. Another weekend here, yeah. Lex, Lex drone. Don't focus on tools. Even a cheap multimeter, if you buy a 10 pounds one from eBay, it will do exactly the same job. Uh, Tong Scum, do you have any favorite YouTubers doing electronics video? I'm watching a lot of people, but I'm 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 looking to find more advanced things. Like you know, like uh, for me, I'm looking to see advanced things, and uh, I do have some favorite YouTubers doing, um, I believe, programming or things like that, but not laptops. No, like different other stuff. But I watch everyone. If if that's what you ask me, I'm I'm watching everyone. When I have time, of course. <clears throat> the ferry bed on a 3.3 volts line is damaged. My question: I can replace it with a zero ohm resistors. You can replace it with a wire. Yeah, you don't have to put a resistor. Just just use a wire. Indeed, you have a ferrite. Uh, thingy there to cancel any electric shock like if something happened let's say you have a lightning next to you but otherwise like you are on a case okay i just want to get that done you can just use a wire cosmo what do you mean there are many faces Aton A62. Uh, Mircha, I will not say great. I will say the budget, the budget one. Yeah, this is a budget uh, hot air station. It's not even close compared to what I had before with the uh, Aton. Uh, I don't remember the model. A50? Mm, I don't remember. Peter, how do you get into repairing equipment? First, you have to get the knowledge to understand how the electronic works. Yeah, like I said it. Get the basics. Learn about the components. Start playing. You know how hard it is to start playing. You just buy a bunch of components or you, I don't know. You can get like boards and you can desolder the components and you start playing. Yeah, you start building things, you start uh, doing electronics. So when you have the basics and you understand uh, how the electronics works, you can uh, repair anything. I mean, you can start learning re repairs, learning repairs, doing repairs. Yeah, that's how you, how you learn.
uh, repair studio, I'm curious if you do coding and programming and what code do you prefer? I always wish to learn and I try. I, even now I have, I have to add, uh, uh, I don't even, the Atmega, Atmega 8 board here, but I'm not like a software guy. I'm more like a hardware guy. That's the thing. And, you know, there are people, they actually, they are loving software and they are doing only software. And there are hardware people, they are doing only hardware. I'm kind of the hardware guy. Lester, what qualification do you have in electronics? <coughs> I learned electronics from uh, like child being. Like I was like 10 years old and I started uh, doing electronics from that age. Actually, my school, my high school was a chemistry. Hi guys. So we have our coffee. Huh. I watched Sorians for years. You know the thing, like every video. Let me see if I can show you. There is no video on YouTube to be watched more than six, seven minutes. I'm not sure. If, I, I can't. I can't show you. Okay. So basically, if anyone watch my videos. Like they really watch the entire video. Right now they are repairing things. But every video, and there's no video, it's like from 700 videos, you will not find a video which is watched, yeah, more than seven or eight minutes. Six, seven, eight minutes. So uh, that's the thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the people actually, they watch the entire video. They now repairing things. You have to understand just watching the interesting part okay the interesting okay opening the thing is not interesting diagnosing is not interesting it's interesting when you replace the part and you see it's working okay i got that but that i'm trying to do here i'm I that i i left the you know the video like are not edited so the people can see actually the process and the time which is taken to get in and find that fault and the way how you judge a fault you know to find that fault but that's long we are speaking of videos like half an hour or one hour one hour and a half even two hours and uh, i don't think there are a lot of people having like, the patience to watch like two hours on a video but that's the way to go i mean if, if you look for learning or enter entertaining if you look for entertaining I'm not good with that. This is not a good channel. There are a lot better channels compared with my one, which they are doing video for entertainment. Actually, video for entertainment means like video in a range of 10 minutes up to 12, 15, no 50, 15 is too much. 8, 10 minutes, something like that. That's a good video. I mean, you will get only the essence from a video which is made for enter entertainment. Yeah, you, you got cut everything and you have the process, you know. Okay, well, a little bit of diagnose, a little bit of uh, fixing the thing. But not good for learning. I still love your VHS player fixing video. Uh, Xana. VHS, they, they were like a dream on my age. 
And uh, I know the technology. This is something you'll, you'll dream. Okay, maybe one day I'll have money to buy one. We are speaking about, on that time, it was like a dream to have like a, on that time, to have a VHS. And you have two video, two video magnetic heads, yeah? Then the expensive ones, they have two audio, and that was high fi- fideli- fidelity. Yeah, high fidelity. Was a VHS having dedicated two heads on the on the spinning uh, on the spinning VHS head, and the encoding was PCM. PCM was digital PCM. I was dreaming to have something like that. And I, I believe this was the first tool to have like high fidelity sound, just because of the high speed of the head. I see you irritated on the very first time on the video with the USB C video. Huh. Um, I just got pissed off because uh, the USB C it's a pain. I mean, you see one video, but I have another ten, which I'm struggling with that port because usually, you know, the the power pins get get burned. But that one, that was not the poor fault. But I, I, I was, I was just, you know, the last drop, and uh, I got mad. Kaiser, why you use petrol instead of alcohol? It's no secret. You can use alcohol. I use the uh, Zippo petrol because that's what I had on that moment. But you can use alcohol; it will do exactly the same job. Sorry, it would be nice if you make a video about MacBooks. You know, they're bored. Yeah, of course, we will do video about MacBooks. But I don't have that many requests to fix uh, MacBooks. Uh, sad. Are if you try look if you try to replace a CPU and GPU, you realize it's not that simple. Just try it. Just try it. You know, just uh, try it, and you'll see. For a designer, uh, Van der Show. For a designer, USB C is very good. You know what? That's the thing. It's just a. It's a designer without experience. I mean, we seen like big ports, like the round, like the Toshiba port, and we seen even that kind of ports with like a big pin. You'll still find like charging ports with. Uh, they got burned on the middle pin on the back, or they get. Uh, burned on the board where it's soldered. So even that big one has problems. But to bring that much power on a small port with small pins, for me, it's insane. I mean, it's crazy. Clearly, those people, they have no no real-life experience. They design it on the paper. I mean, you, you, you use, like... The, the pins, the pins inside are like that. So you use uh, two pins on one side and two pins on the other side, and you think you can carry like over 100 watts on those pins, and they are fine over the years. You have to be high on something you know, to believe that.
Are you still mining helium? No, I got out a long time ago. But the helium was a very nice experience. So I had that, I had, I, uh, I was, I had the opportunity to play a game with like uh, frequency and uh, antenna and amplifiers. And, you know, I haven't done this from a long time like years was quite a nice project and I will lie if I will say oh, I lose money no I sold everything when I was about I believe like $10 per helium I sold everything on that point and yeah I did a little bit of money but it was a very interesting project What's your update on your uh, Acer Swift repair? The update on that laptop, which is here. I programmed the BIOS and still nothing. So not only I programmed the BIOS, but actually the I first I read the BIOS. Uh, the guy from the Discord uh, helped me extract the EC image from the BIOS. I programmed the EC with original image and still not working. So what I did right now, I spoke with the customer and I said, you know what, I'm really sorry, but I replaced like nearly all the chips from the board. And I said, I can't fix it. I'm sorry. I can't do it. And he said, sorry, please, look, I can pay more. Please help me and fix it. And I said, okay, I will try. So what I did, I ordered a board, a faulty board from eBay, a faulty board. And I believe from two faulty boards, we will be able to do one good. That's, that's what, that's, that, that, that's what I, will, I believe. I will do a video about that. I'm just waiting for the board to come from eBay and I'll do a video about that. Uh, Vlastimir, I'm 48, it's never too late, so even if you try now to start, I can't see anything wrong, electronic is nice, I mean, let's be honest, this is the future, El electronics is the future. Maybe a broken truck. I, I'm not sure on that uh, <clears throat> Swift. I, I, I don't know. But I replaced so many components. And also, there is a video which I lost it when I reformat, when my YouTube was hacked and I reformat my computer. I lost a bunch of videos. And... Uh, even the audio I see... I don't know if, if, if I post that on the... No, I didn't. Well, it's not on a video. So on that Archer uh, Acer Swift, I found even the audio IC was shorted. I mean, a lot of components there are shorted. And I said, you know what? I just I will buy a faulty board and I'll try to fix that board with the components from this board. Sarin, what do you do with the photovoltaic project? It's ended for a long time. I made some video. I mean, it was an interesting uh, experiment. But I don't know. The inverter was great. That inverter which I used, it, the, the sun, sun, I believe sun was called. 
or GL. I don't remember exactly. But that inverter was fantastic. And you will not find many inverters which are grid tied and you have a uh, you have a sensor, so actually the inverter it will not send the, the the current outside of your house. That was fantastic for me. It was like you know you will not find many there. So basically, you need no paperwork, you need no improvements because your inverter it will never send the the power outside from your house, right? But I waited like one month to have. Full, like a, a day with uh, a sunny day, like full day. And I didn't have a, a, a day in one month. And, uh, you know, I just trip all down. How's my bunny? My bunny is great. So my bunny recovered completely. Uh, repair studio. I can't believe actually he recovered. It was bad, you know. He, he has a lot of wounds, but he's fully recovered. I, I I couldn't believe it. When they said they said you know this disease is like he will die. I mean, we went to the bunny at the vet, and they said no, no, it, you know it it, it all goes, but he recovered. Unbelievable. We give him a lot of antibiotics, and it's insane when it, when when you, when you buy antibiotics from like let's say from the bunny for for bunny actually are more expensive compared for the humans, for some reason which I don't understand why. Insane. I failed to join Discord. Why, Vincent? Good morning, uh, Jaglo. TM Trader, New Zealand. Good morning, guys. Okay, so our coffee is uh, finished. We just had a coffee together. You fail to log in, but that's that's a local issue. So you fail to log in into Discord. So have nothing to do with the with our server. Try to press, I forgot the password or something like that. Because, you know, have nothing to do with uh, our server. Bogdan, Multimus Mold. I can still see coffee here. No, that's, you know, that what is left. We are not drinking all coffee. Murphy. It's okay, you don't have to thank me. Don't worry, it's not, you don't have to thank me. Okay, guys? Okay. I wish everyone to have a great Saturday and a very nice weekend. Okay? And uh, let's see together, see uh, next Saturday, yeah? Let's have a coffee again. Just, you know, take advantage. You have two days off, Saturday, Sunday, if you have two days off. And you have a lot of time to play with electronics and, uh, you know. Everything what you learn is not waste time. Okay, guys. Have a fantastic weekend and uh, see you next week, yeah? Bye.